next two topics, we're just going to take the absolute value of x, y equals absolute value of x, and shift it around based on the addition or subtraction. So a quick reminder is that if you are inside of the grouping symbols, so inside those absolute values, you're moving right and left. So when you're inside, we've got a floor and we have a ceiling. We can't go up and down. We can only go side to side. And to help you remember it, you're thinking if I'm trapped inside, I'm starting to go stir crazy. So it's counterintuitive. Addition takes you left and subtraction takes you right. And then when you're outside of grouping symbols, you don't have a floor and a ceiling, so you can go up and down, and you're not trapped inside, you're getting fresh air, so you can, like everything's gonna make sense, addition takes you up and subtraction takes you down. So as long as you know that, they're pretty quick. This first one, notice the minus four is inside the grouping symbols. So if we're inside, we can only go left and right, but when we're trapped inside, we're stir crazy. So subtraction is going to take me right. So I'm gonna grab this absolute value function and drag it right four. And here we have the graph of y equals absolute value of x minus four. This one here, the minus five is outside of grouping symbols. So it's up and down and minus is down. So this one is down five. So I'm gonna grab my absolute value and drag it down five. Okay, and then this last one, we have two things going on. We are inside, oops, there. We're inside grouping symbols. So this one is gonna take me, my options are right and left for inside, but it does the opposite of what we think. So addition is left to. And then on the outside, up and down, and addition takes me up. So I'll grab this um, absolute value graph and drag it left two. And then I'm gonna drag it up three, one, two, three. And we now have the graph of y equals absolute value of x plus two plus three.